A transaction is a collection of separate operations that go together to perform one larger operation. For example, you may want to sell an item by reducing the count of the available inventory, adding it to a shipping list, issuing a bill to a customer, and possibly a few other things here and there. All of these operations go together to make one transaction. But what happens if you get halfway through and something goes wrong and you can't finish? Everything is all out of kilter. You've got to do something, but before you can do something, you've got to know about it, and you've got to know where you are. This is the classic example of a simple transfer of money from one account to another. It consists of two discrete operations, and no matter how you do them, there is a moment of vulnerability. For example, say you take the money out of account 1, and your next step is to put it into account 2. But the system crashes instead. The money isn't there anymore. It's just gone. You can bring the system back up, but the money just isn't anywhere. Doing it in a different order can be just as bad. Before you remove the money from one account, you simply add it to the other. But before you can remove it from the first account, the system goes down. When you bring the system up again, you have twice as much money recorded as you had originally. Now this is not a simple matter. The solution is to do things in transactions. The money transfer is done in a tentative way. First, the fact that the money is moved from account one is recorded. The next step is to record the fact that the money is moved into account two. Finally, the transaction is logged as being complete. Both accounts are notified of this fact and both operations are then completed. However, if something goes wrong in the middle of all this, the transaction is never declared complete and the accounts simply revert to their original state. Now this is a very simple example, but you can imagine transactions that consist of several operations. Unless every one of them completes successfully, none of them are completed, and everything is left in its original state. You can see where this would be critical in a multi-tiered and distributed system. Enterprise Java Beans can be used to implement a complicated transaction.